Alright, so I watched Brightburn last night. And I had no idea what this movie was going to be about. I was just scrolling on Facebook. I seen some previews. And I was like, oh man, somebody's getting killed. That looked like something I would like to go see. So we went and watched it. And basically, uh, what Brightburn is, it answers the question, how would it be if Superman would have used his powers for, like, evil and whatnot? And basically, without getting too far into the uh, movie, it's about this kid that got adopted. And once he got older, he started getting powers, and he realized that he wasn't, he wasn't human and whatnot. And he was fighting with himself, debating if he wanted to be good, if he wanted to be bad. But obviously, he ended up being bad. So, for the most part, the movie ended up being pretty good, but it was dry. It was it was so dry, and it took so long for them to finally get to where they wanted to get to. And with all of that being said, I give the movie a three, uh, a three out of five. It was a solid movie, but you really you really had to force yourself force yourself to stay in tune with the movie. Now with John Wick. The first John Wick movie didn't do too great, but the second one did good, and then the third one did even better. And I think if they do a second Brightburn, I think the second Brightburn would be a lot better than the first one. I think there'll be a lot more interest. I think it'll be, you know, easily a 4.5 or, or, or a 4 out of 5, but this first one, it was good. It was a nice introductory movie, but it wasn't it didn't really captivate me so if you're thinking about watching it you can definitely wait you can definitely wait <clears throat> until this movie hits netflix or redbox if we still use a redbox and all that good stuff but overall solid movie but you don't have to rush to go see it nobody's gonna be talking about this movie in a couple weeks all right <laughs>